Hello everyone, this is a time-lapse watercolor painting of Viktor Nikiforov from the anime series Yuri on Ice. The footage was captured during my creative live stream at twitch.tv slash azul. Hope to chat with you there when I'm live. For the artwork, before painting, I sketched the composition first with the blue roses in mind. I always admired characters with white or silver hair, so this was a nice experience too. I start painting the skin tones first. I mixed in some red and white to make it pink. Add some yellow and small amount of burnt umber or also known as brown. This time around, I used color pencils for some details later on. Recently, I love painting some abstract roses. It's easy and looks cool after it dries. I use wet on wet technique with light blue and light purple and it mixes well later on like a faded effect. Comment down below if you also do some wet on wet techniques on some part of your painting. And then I sharpen my pencils with a normal cutter, not a pencil sharpener. Uh, not that I misplace my sharpener. <laughs> Sharpening with a cutter is also kind of therapeutic. The very sharp edge will help me add some small details. And it will be a while before you sharpen it again. A viewer from my Twitch chat said that it helps him save his prismacolors since a normal sharpener wastes parts of the pencil. And then this is probably my lightest watercolor painting. Next time, I'll try to do some dark skins. Normally, when your watercolor dries, it will dry with light colors. Watercolors can be scary at first because changes will happen and flows cannot be controlled that much. But you can lift up colors or erase them too with water and tissue, so I guess it's okay. <laughs> let me know if this video helped you in the comment section below. So let's talk about my streaming experience. I've been streaming for a few months now and let me tell you that I've enjoyed the process. It was so scary having no one watching at first and when there's a single viewer, it just adds tension and I can't help but think of how to entertain this person. And during one of my streams before, I had like uh, 60 or more or 100 viewers and that was only one time and I felt the tension but it was so fun. Sometimes I just have, what do you call this? Mm. Sometimes you have a low viewer and just one time you have a high viewer and then sometimes you have a consistent viewer. So I guess it's kind of like a lottery. But yeah, being consistent is more important. I start off with Facebook Live. People came to watch and said their hello and their goodbye, which was so sweet of them. I only have my paint tool side, it's a painting software, and just a music to play at the background. I chat with my viewers by also typing on the comment section. As weeks pass by, I was obsessed in researching how to improve my stream and also added some overlays and also saved up to buy a webcam so that I can also stream my traditional artworks. I'm from Far Eastern University, FEU, a fine arts major in painting cum laude graduate. As much as I love digital painting, I also love traditional painting and to join exhibits too. Trimming became a part to add some entertainment in my life. To also improve my communication skills, gain friends along the way and to market myself out there in the internet world. I don't have that much of a following, but if I push myself more and work hard consistently, I would do great in this field. <laughs> oh, 
Hopefully. <laughs> So yep, I hope you will continue watching till the end and enjoy the video. This will be the end of the voiceover. So yep, I hope you do enjoy my video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I have a lot of footage to edit. Footage, footage. I have a lot of footage to edit. So see you on my next video. Bye for now.